hi how's it we're in the next part hi how's it we're in the next part and i'm actually explaining what in the world is going on the menacing activity of uh my family members and how they keep on uh, just magnifying and intensifying their persecution and they're trying to help unbeknownst to themselves it's not like they know but they maybe they do because they listen some of them listen to my videos they freaking eavesdrop on my content online they watch it and in so watching it then like afflict me uh, in tandem with what i've said here um so maybe they do know that there was like some random like nefarious beast in the u.s that i dated ever so briefly that became my fiance and he's prepared to pay my way he's prepared to finance my entire future and my whole life and so far as i will agree to be with him but i don't want him because he is of the devil he's not of god he is a satanist and while forced um, he is abusive on top of that he's got two ex-wives and i'm just like no business being with a guy that's been married before because the scriptures make it clear that if the former spouse is still alive it's adultery okay yeah yeah, so here's this guy America, and I have a feeling my family know about him because they sometimes listen to my videos even if they don't know about him and this is done unbeknownst to themselves they are nonetheless trying to get me to finally compromise my standards and my morals and I, I, I allow like somebody to come here and help me that's gonna have an ulterior motive do you understand somebody especially because they just want to ruin anything at all of mine unbeknownst to themselves what they're doing forgive them father for they know not what they do they don't even know why they're doing this they're so demon possessed and they are trying to hurt me so they've come up with a strategy to basically survive something uh, that they can't survive uh, because they know that I will be collateral damage I will be the domino that was, will most likely be hit the hardest if something happens uh, it's an abomination and a travesty that I am unemployed while my little sister works given that I am a whole 17 years younger than her but that older sorry but that is exactly what under heaven is being done to me right now by today's work offer my limits it's so or an ability to take care of ourselves she doesn't so she will either sit and rot in that shack at the back or she will finally allow herself get anything it's wrong whatever chichi boy across out of the the the, the soil Whatever shongololo, whatever centipede and millipede crawls out of the soil and makes its way into her bedroom, she must marry it. That comes from anywhere, anything that comes, I must just take it. Take it, nje. And like guys, y'all might think that I'm picky and I'm iffy about men and I don't have rights to do that. Because I'm done, I'm basically 40 now. I'm, I'm turning 39 in August. So because I'm basically hitting 40, I might as well just take any shongololo that crawls from out of the sand. But for me, it's not even about having standards that are too high and really I'm high maintenance. It's basic, the thing that I've sought God for. The thing that I am expected to do according to the word of God. I cannot be married to an unbeliever. I can't be unequally yoked. So for me to choose not to be with a man that is a devil worshiper is not the tenement of being picky. I'm not iffy. Even you. You just like to every so often acknowledge your ancestors. Now we are going to find out what they did. It's a little tagat. Nev, nev. Lue na kasi mat. What's that zebe So you don't care about unequal yoking. You don't care about sex before marriage. You don't care what is wrong in the sight of God and what is right. But even you would not want woman, dear woman, who is watching me right now, to marry a satanist. You wouldn't. I literally have awareness that this guy is a hard knock devil worshiper. And bafunu kuti na yeta tanje enye 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 endo empuma laem katwen. However, to not only does this guy have have these stats as in other words i seem a believer it's not even an issue of an equal yoking he's also over and above it guys i'm not dealing with some dude that's all he is this is a dude that is not just an unbeliever but he is a satanist like alleged to even you wouldn't want him like what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that this dude all my ex-boyfriends slay him and i have dated so pretty recklessly in my past this guy. And on top of that, he's been married twice before. Do you understand? Now I'm shimani that he's not taken care of. A daughter that and not being able to finish taking care of her. So first of all. And on top of that, and on top of that, who takes that in their stride? I'm not guys that could be 52, but really, it, it's not that bad. Like life can't be so bad that as a woman over tata that. You you just can't. Like I I literally no. Had it. But to these people, he's the only one who talk amazing most. He's the only one who can ban them. So, and a little thing when I tell America, he did all that again. So, Tamaya, you, I'm sick of what's happening. My ex-boyfriend, 
Do you think my ex is not gonna laugh on some here? She stays single all the time since we broke up and then she ends up married to an ex-con with two ex-wives and a son he's not taking care of. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is not about being iffy and picky. It's about this being the worst person that could ever come into my life. Worst. But my family are trying to throw me in the direction of this guy. The reason why he even had to use so much sorcery to try and win me over is because his stats were that bad. So I literally, I just need to settle. This dude is the one that controlled and messed up with my YouTube channel. He made sure that I don't go in. Once I lawyer, I lawyer, I lawyer. This is the dude that went and fetched witchcraft from Jamaica. He tried to age me, put fine lines and wrinkles on my face. He tried so many things and when they didn't work, he tried to come back into my life. May the Lord save his soul, honestly. He might, I, I pray the Lord rescues him from the darkness that he is currently in. Because who in the world wants anyone to go to hell? But this is not the man for me. He is a sinner just like the rest of everybody who has yet to know Jesus. Everybody of us is a sinner. And he needs to be saved by grace. He is a professing Christian that does not know God from a bar of soap. However, in spite of needing redemption, who in the world wants that for a husband? He's messed up his life and he's trying to come into mine. And recently, So get Like these people are throwing me into the lion's den. A pit. Do you understand? I am fool. I don't want this guy. But they want me to want him. And the reason they want me to want him is because he is the one that's making them hurt me like this so that I will finally see him as viable. It's also kind of eerie, strange and weird that no other man has pursued me ever since him. It is precisely because he has made sure that that's the case. I keep getting dreams where he is killing every boyfriend, every boy, anybody at all that wants to rock up and call himself a boyfriend in my life. What about Tunya? In my dream, he just shoots them dead. Men that even so much as want to type hello, hi, send me an email or anything. What about a blog? This is this guy. He's got a desperation. He's got uh, an, 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 what do you call it? Uh, um, an obsession. And in the absence of being healed by God from his insanity, the mind that he has lost, he will die in the state. He is in danger, frankly, vehemently, from being knocked out by God because of this. However, I pray the Lord has mercy on him that he might find repentance. His insanity right now is inspired by the fact that here is this absolutely like viable marriable gorgeous woman with nobody wanting her i'll take her but he was in no position to take me i was not his to take and because i gave him a chance for all of five seconds all of five seconds he now feels as if though i can give him another five seconds i cannot be with this guy he does not make sense god snatched him out of my life very quickly he didn't make sense for me as quickly as he came in because i was lonely i was broken and god opened up my eyes to the fact that girl you gonna get hurt something bad in this ecosystem now that i have described that to you y'all all need to understand that I have got a mother. That is not a mother, guys. That is just a woman that gave birth to you, a surrogate. That is someone that was oh, good to rather have given you over for adoption than try to raise you. Given that you are such a severe case of postpartum depression, white people in the 80s were very, very happy and keen to go and adopt black babies because it was the new thing that was in fashion. You should have just given me to some white family. You should have just given me to some woman that can't have kids. Or you could have just, I don't know, aborted me or whatever but bring me into the world so as to like hand me over to essentially pimps all manner and kinds of wicked men here in these, in these streets thank god then i got born again saved taken by jesus so that anyone whatever you want to call it will be vetted by heaven before he can be enabled to go and write that check so please, know and understand that when a person is, is deliberately trying to afflict you that badly to a point of messing up your ecosystem, to a point where you will take just anything, women, I really hope that I'm reaching you right now. Because some of y'all got such bad friends, some of y'all got such bad moms, some of y'all got such bad aunties, some of y'all got such bad dads, some of y'all got such bad people in your environment that they will watch you marry. And they will watch you walk down the aisle to this menace. And they will do nothing. They will say nothing. Because Manawana is that bad. In the last days, people are going to be that evil. They will wax worse going from bad to worse. Do you understand? They will gather for themselves a great number of teachers. They will pamper one another in this insanity. The most beautiful girl in the family. The worst guy out of nothing but jealousy. When she has passed away from gender-based violence, she's been killed. She's been strangled. Her body parts chopped up and left on the side of the street in a duffel bag. When that happens, audacity. they have the reigning audacity in their bones to go on Twitter and trend hashtag am I next, hashtag GBV, hashtag um, men are the same, they're all dogs, hashtag this. They have the audacity to crocodile that was obviously destructive for you. I am trying to rescue women for God because he's the only one that's going to 
care for you enough and not be so jealous of you that he will leave a wicked man, a wicked man. Do you understand? In daughter, that so many other women in the past are picking up the pieces of their lives concerning. After Batwamoyen. After leaving him, they're still picking up the pieces of their lives. And he rocks up in your life, puts a ring on it. So many other women in the past that are still struggling to fix what they broke. And then he comes and marries you. Ole mobila, ole monte, o badile, o tote everything that you want in this world. You are literally the best thing that's ever been produced in your family. They say, o yo chadiswa, na ma cousin wako, indo tenje na. That's the calamitous moral tepitude of people in 2023, in these last days. And that's what's happened to me. The best, like, gem in, in the office then gets married by the player in the office. Everybody knowing that this dude has slept with this GM, this SM, these three girls from the call center that won't come to you except for you. And your girls ain't gonna tell you, your colleagues ain't gonna tell you. Nobody gonna tell, no one. They know what a menace he is, but they won't tell you until you finally become that battered wife or until you become that miserable wife that has to constantly keep seeing the doctor because you are having psychological mental breakdowns because of how unfaithful your husband was. I have met a woman like that. When I go, my family tried to throw me in a psychiatric hospital. I got discharged within like a day or two. The doctors were like, hey, there's nothing wrong with this person. But when I was there, there was this woman that was uh, checked in by herself. Actually, I told off her husband. And when I had a conversation with her, why are you here? And she's like, because I am, basically, I keep, I keep fainting. I keep fainting. Get stress, get depression because of my husband. Because he won't stop cheating and he won't stop hurting me. He will always like, yar. In daughter that gets his wife checked into a mental institution because he's that wicked. What kind of a marriage is this? And it's only, you get kick it dead and sign, I get light. According to the scriptures, you can't just divorce you guys. It's supposed to be till death do us part. You, unless it is for marital unfaithfulness, cheating, you can't just walk away. So, I mean, really, irreconcilable differences, it's not an excuse in the sight of God. And neither is he makes me heart so. It's not an excuse. You gotta work on it. You gotta work on it. And even if you do get divorced on the account of marital unfaithfulness, for as long as he is still drawing breath, you can't marry again because on that day it's adultery. So marriage, you really gotta get it right the first time. The first time. The only people that have escaped that bullet is those whose spouses have passed away. Then you can remarry. And if it happens when you're still young, even the better. Marabatoba, but they tend to live. And they live and like my dad, for instance, was a deadbeat husband. He passed away in his 60s. Atutubani and everything. Atutubani and everything. They live. They live. Meaning that you're just going to have to sit there as a beautiful 32-year-old widow that cannot marry until this dude drops on the ground. If you're going to be pleasing in the sight of God. If you're going to do things according to the scriptures. So, you like seriously, as women, well men too, but really my ministry is for women. Y'all got to make sure you marry right. You have to hold on to Jesus and he is the only one that's going to care sufficiently for you. Uguyo ziba, what off, what off, like a pesticide, doom. Insects that want to come into your life, zik, chatang and kani, that are approved by your friends and your family members and your colleagues. Wonko it sings praises. Of an animal that has destroyed five other women's lives in the past because they're that jealous of you. But guys, faster than a bad man. There is nothing that ages a good woman, a beautiful woman, faster than a bad man. Like I believe that a bad man is more aging than cigarette smoke. So your collagen to fall off. If you want your connective tissues to stop doing what they're supposed to do. If you want to have early, early menopause. If you want to get just like a, a violent amount of acne out of stress. Acne you never even had as a kid so it's adult. Like if you want to have issues. If you want to also gain so much weight and be unable to lose it because your hormones are just not allowing you to lose weight properly you will marry a bad man i personally ever since this dude came into my life have not kept my my schedule yahoo jima i've lost so much muscle mass and i am gaining weight very gradually steadily nonetheless i am gaining it like you know every single month and say well i've been in jima fell out one or two times or three times and on top of that my muscles are getting soft and this dude was in my life a year ago a whole entire year down the line i'm still struggling to work out as frequently as i used to five days a week for almost two to two and a half hours to therefore keep my slender frame and my muscles taut all that stuff fell apart after this ravenous beast came into my life and then I have to go to an arm's length. Or since the lipizigari car, Wang Fraza, he has taken the hairs on my head and plucked them. 
and that level of stress has caused me to struggle to go back to working out. He has messed up with my YouTube channel, my ability to be able to take, get taken up. Like, ba sing, ba sing, ba sing, and these guys, ba mosha, they just break, ba twatla, di glassy, di khalasi, they come and they ravage your environment, they rearrange it, they, they, there's so much damage they cause to a point where Umfazi, that used to be the uh, gym bunny, the fittest one in the gym, crunch up, you were a fitness instructor, you will end up being on my 500 pound life. How? You let yourself go. These guys are so abusive. So if you don't want to find yourself in a relationship where a man has basically seized you from even going to the gymnasium, or you are watching you are sedentary, a little sleep, a little slumber, and a little folding of the hands to rest, you're getting overwhelmed by poverty. If you want that to be you, next thing when you wake up, you're 40 and you're looking like you're 50, you will marry a bad man. I am trying to inspire women to wait on God because he's the only one on the data. He, in this last day, oh guys, these last days, uh, lovers of selves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, blasphemous. But oh, get out of wrong one. Look at me. I'm awful. I'm beautiful. Do you understand? I'm 39 years old, though, without a husband. I got a geriatric womb. I don't got no babies. I'm in this position because of friends and family members. I'm in this position because of such jealous women that they didn't want to watch me get married gloriously and have those beautiful babies and still have that beautiful career. And it's like all the things I was doing. Bang Tatiles on they ripped the carpet from underneath my feet and then watched me grovel, moan, beg. Because how I'm Cheba, since I need to Mobila, since I need to put together. So for as long as I am yet to crack, for as long as I'm yet to get my first fine line, my first wrinkle, for as long as I don't yet have 11s. More for as long as kiss ability close feet like a smile for as long as a linole one is old sweet. But don't go tell I get a jan, I can make you long yala monoto cause I'm menoka kaufella awe and I will now need dentures. Y'all need to understand these women are evil, they are saboteurs, and they are allowing really bad men to come into the lives of really great girls. And if they're allowing bad men to come into the lives of great girls, what are they doing to great men? They are also pairing great men together with bad women. So ain't nobody marrying right. Nobody's marrying right. What is the result? A whole bunch of divorce and remarriage. What does remarriage do? Dishonor God is adultery. So they have caused the whole world just to go into a flux. Because one, but since I'm a pillow, one, I'm a pregnant as a teenager. Or they went and became the baby mama of some dude. I think so. That is what is currently going on. So women, I am warning you in the worst way right now. Hori. Di chiringa na zizi pizan di chomi. Deska di tepa. Hualwe wa like no man's business. Lam ka kweni wangu muntu is flying up and down on roofs give my give my loy do you understand and they will be with you until you can't breathe and this the moment you lose um seventy one small little loss in your life get a little like a like a bunch of mongo loyin but the whole entire the true colors but so keep it on my true colors that is the world that we are living in in the 21st century and you cannot afford in it to give trust to a mere mortal indeed 1 corinthians 13 says love always trust but y'all gotta be wise we have been bored again we are wool what is this the lord has put us amidst uh uh, 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 uh wolves as sheep so therefore we have got to be innocent as doves though shrewd as a snake so while you indeed love does always trust you have got a responsibility to basically within trusting other human beings gauge the human heart that is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked enough for you to not just willingly and swimmingly just throw yourselves into the bosom and the palm of some bad friend that you don't yet know is bad all i'm saying is look out for yourself by looking out for god god is the one there's not even a single one today that can speak to me and phone and us have a normal conversation because by his god exposed them all go fail one by one dropped like dominoes so who here is in the better position who at the age of 39 looks like this me me i'm turning 39 i might as well be 39 i'm 38 today right now got you umfazum dalangangaga still looks as if though she's like 23 24 25 that's what i look like why because i gave my life to god he's the one that preserved me he loved me and i already spoke about this in the previous parts so guys even moms are so badly jealous of daughters that they don't know whether they're coming or going it's called narcissistic personality disorder where a narcissistic mother will literally try and take over a mp Look at Otaya. Uh, think about uh, uh, this chick who recently gave her life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In the US. When I signed up for a season, Marasali, I didn't know why I wrote the Hangwana to Shem. Black China, Marding, after she got born again, Keha Amoriva, Lamu Boham Bejrang on the internet, speaking about how she's the one that's truly God's um, child, and Black China is just a fake, it's it's an act and it's gonna die. Good, like, uh, like the accuser of the brethren, who is the devil who goes and accuses people of sins that they committed in the past. Black China's mother went on right ahead to highlight the fact that Black China is part of the Illuminati, or at least was. It doesn't matter, she's saved now. That's past, present, and future. Her sins have been forgiven. According to the God of the Universe, Marawena, 
to drag her through the mud. The mother hates her redemption and her walk in Jesus, so the mother is busy dragging her name through the mud using a former sins. But Black China's wise about it. What is she doing? On the internet, but us in the Christian community, we are happy, we are celebrating heaven rejoices when one sinner repents. She's one of us now. So we love her and we don't care that her mean mother is doing these things. And that's a woman with narcissistic personality disorder. Her daughter's life. Go fail. I'm more ravaze. I'm more revile. I'm more happy. But there will always be people who will see right through it, and we see right through Black China's mom's insanity. For us, it's like China, you made it, girl. You finally overcame that dark Hollywood lifestyle. Come home, girl. We love you. We'll take you. We'll run with you, and we will speak well of you. While mewa hakanza li busy as well as those who are your haters and your naysayers, nonsense. They will take your mama's nonsense because vele vele all along they've had an in for you. But as for us, we'll take you as you are and love you and speak well of you because that's who you are now. One of us. So I have a nail in a little member to a little member of Black China. Come join the party, girl. Was that girl? Don't nobody move when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not allow a bad parent, be a bad aunt, a bad relative, whatever, a bad, a bad friend. Do not allow them to so decimate you and comprehensively rip you apart. That when not when we peel, that you will also give yourself to somebody that is absolutely undeserving of you. Grabby hands of a wicked man. Come in and grab the daughter of God. Come in and grab somebody that God has cleansed and made pure holy that god has made bespoke to another man go come as well as a you know why really i was having a matter of how i did think i got moo as i would say that's a table with him no the lord will make sure that this guy does not even come within a kilometer radius of you and that's exactly what's going on right here the lord will give me everything i need in order to survive this blackout because that's what it is it's a blackout it's, it's temporary i don't even think it will last indefinitely because there's no way that a retiree is going to let herself live in a house with no internet it's temporary but until such time that it is recovered restored because black china mom decided to realize in and of herself that hey i can't punish black china by punishing Finishing myself until such time that she gets over herself. I'm going to have to keep on uploading my content, my videos, my everything at the mall. This is how I'm going to be rolling. I'm going to survive it, and it's going to be smooth sailing all the way up until I make it. And when I do, when I survive, you will come back and you will realize this chick is prophetic. Labantu, they shoot themselves in the foot. again, having looked like fools in the run up too. The wicked will always try to disgrace your walk in Christ without realizing that in and of themselves they still qualify for redemption. redemption, They work for the devil, the prince of the power of the air has deceived those who are perishing. Yours, however, is to hold on to the garments of Jesus and indeed virtue will leave him and he will say, Woman, your faith has healed you. Next part.